Okay, maybe Bella wasn't in the last video very much. I'll try to do a little better on this one. But right now, she's out for a ride in the uh, ATV. Yeah. I just took uh, Mumu and Bella for a little ride around the block. She was moving it anyway and just being funny with the dogs. Here they come. Okay. Aja <laughs> and hang on. What the heck? <laughs> all right, we're all out of focus. Yeah, I know the phone is shaky. Doesn't have the stabilization the GoPro has. Okay, you ready to get out? Was that fun? Huh? Okay. Was that fun? Okay, on with the show. Okay, uh, today's the day I almost wrecked the drone into a tree. Um, I, have, I don't fly the drone real often and maybe I got a little bit rusty um, but a lot of people were flying today uh, let's see Chuck had his drone out and I think uh, Donnie had his remote control airplane out and some other folks were flying so I thought why not get the drone out but I wanted to check this um, this rave party I think it's called that gathered down here and it looks like mostly uh, you know weekend warriors maybe a lot of tents I uh, just came for the weekend, so I don't know what that's all about. I just thought I'd get an idea of the size of it. So I'm going to fly over here. We'll get to the wreck part, almost wreck part here in a minute. I'm going to fly over here. Uh, these are two old water tanks from back when uh, this was a marine base. And I think all those posts are uh, were roof supports, actually. Um, But, let me see here. Oops, let's move on here. <laughs> it's, uh, and then a second water tank. Now there was a platform, somebody built a platform here and it was burned down the other night. They built a platform, it actually had walls and I think a little roof. It, uh, oops, yeah, I'm a little rusty. Um, it sat up on the, that wall somehow. And then there was a fire and it burnt. There it is. Not much left of it. But we're gonna fly back towards camp here. And uh, let's switch to a little higher elevation, I think. There we go. Now, you can see how, from the air, how this whole area was uh, like a grid of uh, streets. And, uh, and somewhere over here, yeah, on the left is another area. It's kind of hard to tell without a um, some sort of diagram, and it probably exists in a military archive of what was where, what was housing, and what was uh, administrative buildings, and how this was all laid out. But let's go back to the, um, the aerial of where we're camped at, and a lot of other people are camped at. You know, Slab City doesn't look too bad from the air. Okay. Um, I'm gonna fly, well keep in mind now, I didn't even have the camera on for a while. And I realized, oh, let me turn the camera on. So I've been flying for a while. The battery at this point is probably down to about 50%. Um, and uh, I do get it home safely this first time, or back to camp safely, home uh, this week. 
but I'm right directly over camp here. I don't know what mountains those are in the distance, but okay, I'm gonna land it. <laughs> All right, there's our camp, mainly. That circle and a couple of the RVs around it are all uh, a group of friends. And here's what happens, okay? They're getting ready to go on an ATV ride. And I would already had the uh, DJI Phantom 4 drone packed away. And I hurriedly um, got it back out as quick as I could. Now, everybody's already left just a moment before I could get this... Uh, get it all ready and back up in the air again and the battery's already low okay I know they just took off I'm trying to find them which way did they go which way did they go and here I spot them in the distance and I have the uh, the Phantom 4 in sport mode which it'll go 45 miles an hour in sport mode but it uses more battery which I'm already low on at this point but I'm trying to catch them and I, I spot them. I only see three or, uh, ATVs. There should be four. There's Chuck, Jake, Ed, and Michelle on the dirt bike. And I'm going to cut the corner here. Uh, here's where things go wrong for a minute. The screen starts flickering up here. Um, just as I'm coming down in uh, el altitude to get a better action shot. All right. Somewhere right around here as I'm coming down lower, the screen flickers. And it only takes a moment. Right about here it happened. And all of a sudden, I seen trees right, it comes back on and I seen those trees. I immediately released the joysticks because the drone comes to a complete stop. I did that just in time. Uh, now the screen's back on and I'm gonna, I'm gonna resume. And, uh, but I've lost some time here. Uh, still only one, two, three ATVs and a dirt bike. There should be a fourth ATV. Somebody's, somebody's not with the program here. What happened? That, there it is. <laughs> there goes Aja trying to catch up. She probably stopped to record something for one of her videos. <laughs> so anyway, at this point, I'm getting a weak signal. I'm far enough from camp. The battery's getting low. Um, it's time to get the, the drone back. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with these drones. Bad stuff can happen just in an instant. And I avoided it. I avoided it this time, luckily. Now, don't mind your screen flickering. That's uh, actually sometimes when you fly these things uh, toward the sun, there'll be some reflection coming off the propellers, and that's what you're seeing the, the flickering on the screen. That's what that's all about. So we're gonna get this thing back to camp. So there it is, a, a pretty good overall view of Slab City out in the California desert. And the Salton Sea is out there in the distance, but it's a little bit hazy out there today and uh, with the glow of the sun, I can't quite make it out. But you see, there's tons and tons of camping out here. Unregulated, no time limit. So that's part of the attraction. So here we're coming coming up on camp again. It's gonna be that circle, that circle of RVs here at the bottom center of your screen. We've about uh, finished up our stay here. We will be getting out of here. Yeah, it was good to get the drone back and put away safely. These things aren't cheap, and the idea of wrecking them is not a pleasant one. <laughs> well, we'll fast forward uh, to the next morning. Uh, we're all packed up and, and ready to get out of here today. Everybody packed up. Uh, late yesterday to so we wouldn't have as much to do this morning but 
we are going to say goodbye to Slab City for another year. We'll probably be back again. I don't know. Mixed comments in the last video, but it is what it is, and uh, it's free camping, so it has its pros and cons. But you know, we enjoyed our, our stay here overall. We enjoyed our stay. Uh, Bella, Bella's out taking care of some morning business. Here comes Bella. Are you ready to go this morning? Are you ready to go this morning? Are you ready to go, girl? Okay, I'm going to address one comment that always comes up whenever we first leave somewhere. And uh, Bella's up in the passenger seat kind of pacing back and forth. It's not that she's overly anxious or, or has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> when we first leave somewhere, she's, she, she knows we're going. She knows we're traveling. She knows there's things to, things to see. And she does, she does get, you know, I guess in an anxious, in a... She's she's become quite the sightseer, and uh, she gets excited uh, when we first leave. And, and as we get going, uh, yeah, she settles down and just kind of looks around. Um, but that's just the way she is. All right, so um, so I guess that's just a quick farewell to Slab City video. Thanks for coming along today. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.